What's up, guys? It's Chris, Chris for DAV1D on ECF, Aero Vapor on YouTube. Not really on ECF that much these days. I don't know, just not really my thing. Got so much going on. I'm more on Facebook. Um, I'll put my link for my Facebook down in the description so you can find me if you have not otherwise found me. This review has been coming for a couple weeks. I have been delaying it. I've sort of in the past gotten out doing like the juice reviews. One is I was down, I didn't have a computer for a while, so that, you know, stopped me from doing any review. But the reason I broke from juice reviews is watching other people do juice reviews like would piss me off. I don't just, oh God, there's some people that I watch do juice reviews and it just aggravates me just watching them. So I was like, God, maybe I should stop doing it because if I get that pissed watching him, there's got to be a hundred people that get just as pissed watching me. But there's some juices that come into your life that whether it pisses you off or not, I am going to review it. And this is sure as shit one of them. What I have got today is eVapes OK number 47. Now, what you may be saying to yourself is, self, this has got to be bullshit because that bottle is completely full. However, what you would then need to tell yourself is that this guy has already gone through two other bottles of it. Oh, when I got this liquid, I'm going to try it. By the way, I'm like six. So it's killing my throat, even at six milligrams. But that's great to drink too when you're sick. Coffee. So when I got this liquid, first of all, it comes in these little like um, uh, cardboard tubes. Awesome little tubes that they're packaged in. Um, I hold on to them. I hold on to them. I put them aside. I'm like, okay, I need these for the review to show everybody what it comes in. It never fails. One of my kids ends up stealing them and I can't find the tubes anywhere because they play with them. They put like their guys and their cars in them. So I don't know where all like six of the tubes I've had went, but they poof, vanished. But I think I have a picture I could show you of what it looks like when you get it. Not that you care that much about the goddamn cardboard tube. So, eVapes, okay, number 47. What is number 47? And this is where watching other reviewers sometimes pisses me off. I saw other reviews and it was like, uh, well, it's a nutty, creamy vape. And that's what the website says. It's a nutty, creamy vape. Like, okay, so it's nutty and creamy. It's way more than that, though. When I got the bottle, when I first got it in the mail, and I opened it, and I, I was like, you know, I was very apprehensive. Wow, the lighting, every time I vape, the lighting's going out. I was very apprehensive about ordering it because, again, evapesok.com, but the price tag on this stuff is not cheap. It's probably the most expensive bottle of liquid I've ever ordered, and it comes in at $23.99 a bottle, and then it's like $3 for shipping. Shipping's been super fast. It says, uh, like, first class, but I've been getting it in priority boxes, so I don't know. So I got the liquid, and I'm like, you know, God, I almost hope I don't like it. For 24 bucks a bottle, like, I'm just one of them people. I mean, everybody bitches, well, you get what you pay for. That's not necessarily true. I have had 30 cent a mil liquids that crushed some high-end liquids. There are high-end liquid companies out there that are low-end juices and high-end bottles. Just bottom line. This is not one of them, though. So I got the bottle. Awesome bottle, by the way. It is a frosted glass, and then the labels are clear. Um, so I got it, and I opened it. I smelled it and was like, holy hell. Like, these reviewers are just terrible. Because taste is subjective, so let's be fair. But I got so much more than just nutty and creamy. I mean, to me, I get this almost like cookie, but not a cookie cookie, like a strong cookie, almost like an animal cracker type cookie, like a light, super light cookie with a little bit of vanilla, like kind of cookie, like super light. Oh, this, I'm glad that happened too, just so I could show you. Every single bottle I have had, the washer that's in the top of the cap, no matter what I do using a screwdriver, pushing it in there, that thing never fails. It 
it comes out. And then, like, you pull the dripper out, and it gets, like, liquid everywhere because it's such a high VG concentrate. But anyway, <laughs> love the bottles. Only issue I had is I had one bottle, this bottle, actually, uh, specifically, that I lost probably three or four mils out of the bottle because the bottle would not stop leaking. I don't know what's wrong with this bottle, but it leaks like a sieve. So I probably lost a good three or four mile, uh, mils of this liquid, which, oh my god, when you're paying like $24.99 a bottle, and I've ordered one, two, three of them of the number 47, that's, that's a lot of liquid. But when I got it, I smelled it. I got this amazing, like, slight vanilla cookie, nutty smell. Smelt amazing. So I vaped it. And it does have a nutty flavor with a creamy flavor. But I also get like a touch of vanilla. Sometimes when I'm vaping it, I swear the way that the flavors are combined, I almost get a hint of cinnamon. And I don't even think there's cinnamon in it. I just, I think it's the way those flavors come together that give you this essence in your mind of cinnamon. Definitely not a cinnamon vape. Most of the time, I don't even get that. It's just there are times where I've been hitting it that I sort of get this essence out of it. So vanilla, almost animal cracker, cookie, very light cookie flavor, not strong, not a vanilla custard by any stretch of the imagination. That's just very, barely slight vanilla flavor-ish that I get. And then in the beginning, I was vaping it, and I was getting something else from it. God, what is that flavor I'm getting? <clears throat> and then one day, I realized it. It is a seedy flavor. Like, you know, pumpkin seeds taste like pumpkin seeds. Sunflower seeds taste like sunflower seeds. Sesame seeds taste like sesame seeds. But what they all have in common is that one specific seedy flavor. And I swear I get that note in this. Now, I'm assuming that they didn't, there's no seed flavoring in here. I'm assuming it's whatever nut that they're putting in there also has this like backdrop undertone of a seed, but I definitely get it. And there are times, depending on what point of steeping your bottle is at, where you can open the bottle. Like even now, like if you sit there and really smell it, I can smell a seed smell like as if you opened up a, a bag of sunflower seeds like there is a seed smell in there it comes across awesome I, I love it I don't know what to do with myself with this liquid I can't get enough of it and then I ordered it and I found out like right after I, I found out after I ordered it that right before I ordered it there was a, a sale for like $14.99 a bottle and I would have bought a shitload of them had I known that so oh my god I'm just addicted to this stuff I have I have one bottle left because my one bottle leaked on me so I, I don't know what I'm gonna do I have to order more now also just really quick to visit you also have number 22 which they gave this to me um to try because they knew how like what uh, just I'm telling everybody get 47 like it is it, number 47 is God I, I hate to even say this after four years of vaping and and doing reviews but it is the best liquid I've ever tried in my life I, I'm gonna just I'm gonna put it out there now mind you I have paid for all of them the only bottle of liquid that I did not pay for was this number 22 and while it is a quality liquid it is a quality fruit vape it's not my thing. It's sort of got cherry in there and I'm not into it. And the running joke is if you add 22 and 47, add them together, guys. What does that equal? Uh-huh. Come on. So if you mix them together, it makes an awesome vape. And it definitely, at number 47 into, um, 
if someone put it into crab juice, it would make crab juice good. If you liquefy dog shit and put it in a bottle and then put 47 in it, I think it would make it vapable. I mean, that's just how good number 47 is. It's, it's amazing. So number 22, just, I'm not a huge fan of it. And again, it's not the, the juice is like super quality. It's just, it has this like, I get cherry. Yeah, like a strong cherry or black cherry or black raspberry flavoring. And it does not come across nearly as strong when you're vaping it, but it's just not, it's not my cup of tea. It's not my thing. So all this talk and all my friends, I'm emailing them, you know, I was talking to Justine and I'm like, hey, I'm going to send her a sample of this. It's going to kill me to do it just because it, it's so expensive and I'm, I'm running out. Like this 30 mil bottle will not get me through the week by any stretch of the imagination. So I told her I'd send her a sample of it, which I'm doing, but I have paid, oh my God, the interruptions, the interruptions. So I have paid for every bottle of 47 I have vaped. I have vaped three bottles of 47, and I have paid $23.99 for each bottle. So I have vaped $75 worth of, of number 47. Oh my God, it's already 11 minutes, 47 seconds. So just an amazing vape. Like I said, the bottles, I love these bottles. They have a nice warning on them. Use at your own risk. Must be 18 to purchase. Must be 18 to use this product. Keep out of reach of children and pets. Do not swallow. Thank God they put that on there because shit, I would take a shot of this if it wasn't on there. It is that good. I could just like, go, 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 don't do that. But I'm saying it is good enough that I could I could potentially drink it. I don't mind juice in my mouth. Not ever, like, you know, you know, it's just not that bad to get this juice in your mouth. Comes in your standard um, 6, 12, 18, I think 24. I don't have the website up. One of my kids is calling somebody on Facebook right now or on FaceTime right now. Oh, God. Okay. So, number 47. If you are into a slightly nutty, sort of almost like, like cookie-ish, but not a cookie cookie, not a strong cookie, not a bakery. Like it's just this light vanilla-ish cookie-ish, seedy, creamy, like light, light vanilla. Just, oh, amazingness. Oh, it's great for drippers. Actually, to say it's great for drippers would be stupid to say. I don't think you can use this liquid in anything else. I, this liquid is so thick that I can't use it in my Penelope. I put it in my Penelope, open up the juice wicking all the way, and use multiple wicks, and I get like two or three good pulls on there, and then it starts to go to a dry hit. That is how thick this stuff is. It's between 90 and 100% VG. They don't tell you, each liquid varies. Like I can tell you, number 22 is without a doubt thinner than my number 47. I mean, you could just see the the way the bubbles travel. It is definitely thinner than the 47. So you are going to get gobs and gobs and gobs of vapor. Oh my God. And you're going to be in heaven while you do it. I've been telling everybody to get this liquid. In four years, I've... I gotta hate saying this, out of the thousands of liquids I have tried, I have never had a liquid like this and that I loved that much. Phil Basardo had made a comment in one of his videos about it and he said it was very similar to Castle Long Reserve except without the oak barrel. I don't know. I can't validate or otherwise because I've never had Castle Long Reserve. I will not spend $37 on a bottle of liquid, 24 is already just squeezing my nuts every time I order my asshole puckers as I'm hitting that checkout. But then I go to my bottle and I smell it and I say, oh shit. And then I add another bottle and then I check out. So that is how good this stuff is. You have to try it. If you're into that vanilla nutty, 
sort of, you know, seedy. I know it sounds weird to say it's seedy, but there is a seedy smell and flavor in there. Steeping on it, you can vape this right out of the bottle. However, age makes it even better. Like that, that slight vanilla, slight cookie flavor in there just amplifies a little bit more, never becomes overpowering. It's 90% VG, so it's not a heavy flavor. Definitely not a heavy flavor. It's also not a light flavor. It's just it's perfect right in the middle. But, you know, how it tastes when it comes in the mail versus how it tastes after it steeps for a little while will definitely change. The flavor improves even more. It becomes even more creamy. The creamy notes come out. That vanilla cookie, like, just blends in even more, making it even smoother. It is the most incredible vape I have ever had, and I'm going to catch so much shit for that because taste is subjective and... You know, the way I watch some reviews and I'm like, God, you're such an asshole. And somebody's going to be sitting there looking at me like, God, you're such an asshole. So I don't care, though, because I love this liquid and I'm going to continue to buy it. And God damn it, please have a coupon code coming out soon because I'm going broke. Okay, so guys, this is Chris, Chris for DAV1D. Um, check me out on here, YouTube, Facebook. You know, I have the Aero Vapor Facebook, but it's just... Bitch trying to go back and forth from Facebook to the other, to the other, to the other, to the other. So I've sort of been sticking with my Christopher D, uh, Christopher Shack's uh, Facebook page. That's sort of where I've been doing everything. So hit me up on there. Definitely, if what I said sounds good to you, go to evapesok.com. Shipping is good. My first shipment took like four days to get in the mail. Once it hits the mail, it's I have had all of them within three days. So they mail it, say, Monday. I have had it by Wednesday every every time, every time. So super quick shipping, but again, grab the vape budget hands, $23.99 a bottle. However, if you get addicted to it, you will just do what I do and put your wife on the corner to hook so you can, can continue to buy it, which, you know, ain't that a bitch. My wife doesn't vape. Every once in a while, she'll be like, hey, can I taste yours? And she'll taste it and she'll be like, oh, God, how do you like that? So I get this bottle, and all of a sudden, she loves to vape. All of a sudden, now she wants her own rig to walk around and vape with. So now when I have a $24 liquid, now you want to vape? Hit the corner, woman. Hit the corner. Start walking. So that's where my wife is right now. So I'm watching the kids. That's why they keep coming in and interrupting, because she is out there trying to get me some e-vapes okay money so I can order another bottle today, which has got, hey, guys, if you're watching this, you've got to get that shipment out, like, tomorrow, because... I'm 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 gonna be out without a doubt. This bottle will not last me five days. So everybody check them out, evapesok.com. If you are interested in wholesaling their liquid, they have another website. It's a p o t h e c a u s a dot com. So a p o t h e c a u s a dot com. What that spells, I have no friggin' clue. Somebody's like, God, you're such a retard. This is what it spells. I don't know. Me, I just can't figure looking out what, what the hell it spells. So liquids come in 0, 6, 12, 18, and 24 milligrams. Go check it out at evapesok.com. And I'll catch you guys later.